Welcome! This is Shadow Embers coming in hot, and I'm going to help you with the fundamentals of Rumble Fighter. Let's get into it. Are you ready to get back into the basics? Now that you know how to move, defend, recover, counter, and dodge enough to keep yourself alive, we have to look back over on the way to win aside from just staying alive. Attacking. The basic attacking skills is punching, kicking, grabbing, and panicking. Punching. To punch, you must pull back your finger and press upon the X key on your keyboard. Each scroll has a different style on how they punch. Kicking. To kick, you must lift your body from your chair slightly and press the C key on your keyboard. Like punching, each scroll has a different style on how they kick. Run Z So a Run Z attack is when a scroll such as Red Rock Ninjutsu or Abyss BFLE has a combo that looks like a few arrows and the guard key. Some of these Run Z attacks do grabs, slide attacks, ground hits, flips, and flops, and some even don't attack at all. Grabbing Grabbing is a great way to edge someone off the map, or throw them to the side while you try to heal up by eating some food off of the ground. To grab, you gotta wrap your arms around someone else who is close enough and press the punch and guard keys together. All scrolls have front grabs where you grab them facing the front of their body, but there are a good pull of scrolls that have back grabs as well. Some scrolls have just the basic grab, which throws their opponent over their shoulder, but others have different styles. For example, the default scroll has just the basic grab and no back grab. The scroll red storm has a front grab that has you go up in the air and basically does a seismic toss of the guy, dropping him down and making him slide a little bit forward, and also has a back grab that you basically grab them by their feet and spins them around vigorously before releasing the victim, making him go flying forward. One other scroll that we will use as an example is Praying Mantis. It doesn't have a back grab, but the front grab makes you grab them and jumps towards them while you punch them in the jaw, making and then fly back a little bit. Anyways, these are just a few examples on how diverse scroll grabs can be. Now we could talk forever on each scroll's grab, but we will go into more detail with them when we make videos talking about the scrolls specifically. Let's move on, shall we? Kick and Guard Combo A kick and guard combo, other known as a KG, is a move where you hit the kick key right before hitting the guard key, unlike the counter which is hitting the guard key right before hitting the kick key. Some of those KGs are grabs, slide attacks, ground hits, and even sometimes just used to dodge and not attack at all. One KG example is Abyss, which makes the user slide forward and if it comes in contact with someone, it will force palm them away. Another scroll's KG example is Praying Mantis, that actually has a combo to use with the KG. The KG makes the user slide backwards slightly while low lowering itself into the mantis stance, and you can either press the punch key to make yourself do a backflip, dodging attacks with an iframe, or pressing the kick key to make yourself move forward and launch your foot to the sky, connecting your foot to your opponent's jaw, launching them for a juggle. Ramming One attack that is quite universal between most of the scrolls, ramming. All you have to do to ram is hit the punch key as you're running in whichever direction you're facing is where you'll ram. The ram will knock people down if they're facing you, otherwise it will just hit them and push them away slightly as if they were just hit by a normal attack. Some scrolls have different ram animations, such as Drunken Box. The main issue behind rams is that they can be extremely punishable if you don't hit the target you are after, they block you, or someone else is nearby preparing to attack you. If you can press the keys fast enough though, it'll become what we like to call a flash ram, not letting people know the direction you're moving to ram to until it's too late already. Sliding 
Sliding is very useful in many different ways, but for attacking, it doesn't do as much damage as a ram, but it's faster in movement as well as longer distance in its attack, so it's less punishable. There is at least two scrolls that have different slide attacks. American, which is a quick movement into a punch, which is also much more punishable than a sliding attack, and Volador, which is a dropkick that is also just as punishable as a ram. Also as a note, both of these scrolls that have different slide attacks can also fence players unlike normal slides, as well as knock players back like they were hit by a ram. Panicking! Were you just getting hit with some super long combo that you weren't expecting? Well, I think now would be a good time to panic! No, not freak out and perish. Panicking is a move that you can use when in dire situations to make your character start flailing about, and doing so will make your opponent get dazed and forces them back slightly. Players who are level 14 and lower have two of these panics. Now what's if they are juggling you off the edge? Well, due to a later update from Red Fox, you can now do what is called an air panic, where you press the same combination of buttons to panic on the ground during their juggle combos, and it will make you do a little air hop and allow you to move forward in the direction you were holding when air panicking. Just make sure you don't fall down too far or else you won't be able to recover from the juggling. There's also an item called a plus one panic which gives you a secondary panic. This panic however uses flames to attack which knocks anyone hit with it to the ground. Just as a forewarning to anyone who might be a bit too quick to panic. If someone reads your panic and blocks it, they can simply attack you once more continuing their onslaught upon you. So it may be best to use panics as a last ditch effort to survive. Counterattacks. I already told all I could about counters in my previous video. I'll see if I can get that video to pop up just on the off chance you didn't see it and want to get an in-depth explanation. If not, well listen here for a shortened version. A counter is by hitting the guard and kick key with the guard key slightly before the kick key and right before the player's attack hits you. It's basically like a backwards KG when performing it. The only attacks that you can't counter are unblockable attacks, grabs, ranged attacks, and exo skill moves. There are scrolls that do a basic counter, pushing them back slightly, then there are scrolls that have special counter animations, and then there are scrolls that have the ability to do a combo right after countering. The easiest way to find out if a scroll has a combo after a counter, a special counter, or a normal counter is by going to training mode. The combo will usually be shown in the combo list, but the other two you'll just have to find out on your own. Namu Have you seen those insane combos and scrolls that people do even though they don't show up on the combo list of the scroll? Well, they probably use the Namu. When you get to level 15 and beat the survival mode three times, you officially have the ability to use a Namu. When you press the V key, you want to just keep hitting the punch key until the combo is over. Well, unless you want to stop mid-combo for some reason. Practice all you can do with the Namu of your scroll because sometimes you might learn that they have something extra about the Namu that no other scroll has. There's even two that have a completely extra Namu, but we will talk about that in another video. Combos now that you know how to punch and kick, you're halfway there to knowing how to take someone down. Now you must know about combos. Scrolls have different combos of punches, kicks, or a mix of both. They have a few other combos, but if you want to know all of your scrolls combos, go to training mode or while in battle and press F5. Juggling Juggles are when you are attacking the opponent and they are in the air, not touching the ground. The best way to start a juggle is from a stun or launcher, but if you can catch an opponent off guard mid-jump, you may be able to begin juggling them that way. When you juggle an opponent, you have a 3-hit rule where you can hit them with the first punch of your punch combo twice before having to begin your combo, whether it starts with a kick, punch, or another type of attack. If you attempt to juggle them with your first punch three times and then go to a different attack without finishing any punch combo, they will simply fall to the ground and your juggle will end. There are there are scrolls that have different combos that you can juggle your opponent and they are high enough in the air where the 3 hit rule resets and you can do it all over again. This is what we like to call a reset. Unblockable Attacks 
There are some scrolls that in the combo list has two of the same combo, but the kicker punch has a bar around it rather than a circle with one of them. This means to hold in the key until it attacks. This type of attack can go through blocks as well as have the ability for a lengthy pause in the attack, which can give people the false hope to do something other than blocking such as attacking while you're charging or attempt to dodge. Some unblockable attacks do several hits, pushes people back, stuns them, or even hits them across the screen. To easily to test this out, make sure to go into training mode. One scroll example that has an unblockable attack is Abyss. When performed, it pushes the opposing player away, making them stagger and giving you another chance to attack them with another combo. Exo Skills Exo skills are originally the V and B keys, which all have pretty much different attacks, aside from the ones that have been copied and pasted to other exo cores. Each exo attack uses a specific amount of SP depending on the exo and which skill was just used from it. Some exo skill attacks have combos in them as well, so make sure to test out all you can in training mode. Rage Art There are some scrolls scattered around that allow the use of a rage heart, which can only be activated when you are nearing death and can only be used once per round by pressing the B key. So whichever would normally be your B skill for an exo and can only be used when you aren't using an exo port. These scrolls are ones that have the letters RE at the end of their name, such as Judo RE, as well as scrolls that are fused with each other, such as Linked Scroll Duelist. Each of the scrolls have their own unique effects and and we'll go over two as examples. Also, as an FYI, RE scrolls can either be obtained by crafting method or purchasing them from the store, whilst link scrolls must be obtained through boxes. The first example is the Blue Dragon RE. When you perform the Rage Art with this scroll, you put together the last bit of energy you have for an all-out attack that makes a blast of energy come out from you and whomever may be in front of you will be in store for massive damage no matter what, as this specific scroll's Rage Art is unblockable. The second example is Black Tortoise RE. When you perform the Rage Art with this scroll, you put all your strength and energy into your right hand, making a black energy-like ball form around your hand, and by utilizing your lightning quick movement, you dash forward to your opponent and if they aren't blocking, not only do they take a substantial amount of damage, but they are also unable to attack for the next 10 seconds. Now I will show you myself fighting, utilizing all of the fundamentals of Rumble Fighter that I taught you. Let's see if we can survive until the end. Time to put on a show! Action. We hardly knew ye. Cameras rolling, action!
Nobody blink! Action! Now that you've learned all you can about attacking, you can go in with no worries about losing to anyone ever again. Well, at least until they throw out the most overpowered stats, exos, and scrolls in your face. You'll be fine though. Just have faith in your sensei embers and you will end games in fame and glory. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this beginner's video series. We will definitely be working on more advanced tutorials and other videos about Rumble Fighter. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button on your screen. And if you want to be kept up to date when I release a new video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't ever fall behind on new tips and tricks about Rumble Fighter. Anyways, this is Shadow Embers, burning out. See you guys later and win that next battle.